Hello everybody, it is Thursday, May 7th, and we're going to be continuing looking at completing these squares. So you have one activity for today, and that's going to be completing task cards. And let me pull that up real quick uh, to give you some tips and tricks on how to complete that assignment. The way I set up these task cards, um, it's different than how we've done a scavenger hunt in class. And I didn't want to have you guys spending forever flipping back and forth between the task card PDF and entering it on a Google Doc. So we're mixing it up. And you have a Google Form task, or, task card. So on the Google Form, when you find it, it's posted to Google Classroom. When you open it up, the first question is type your first and last name. Okay, that's so I know who is entering the assignment. And I can give you your points. Uh, and as you scroll through... It provides you an image of that task card. Your job is to select what is the correct answer um, solving for X within and by completing the square. Uh, there's multiple choice, so it's an image, multiple choice, A, B, C, or D. And you pick which um, the correct answer on that. Uh, you should get immediate feedback on whether um, of how well after you finish and submit your quiz. And hey, look at that feedback. So that helps you identify, okay, I noticed I missed a lot of points on these certain problems. And you can go and see, okay, why am I making that mistake? Is it a certain type of problem or I'm making mistakes throughout? And that's where I'm here to help. And it involves a lot of self-reflection. But hey, we're almost done. Um, we're moving and grooving, okay? You have, let's see. Oh, goodness. I numbered these by letters. Why did I do that? Okay, there are P amount of questions. Is that like 20? Are you counting? All right. Um, but that's all I have for you today. So a multiple choice Google form, submit those task cards, get her in, get her done. All right, if you have any questions, please let me know. See you guys.